Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Today I'm going to talk about the Thailand vaccine or Alvac and AIDS vac. Uh, many of our subscribers had requested a video on the Thailand vaccine and I think this is what they were talking about. I was hesitant as I did not get information about it in my trusted sources. So I hope this video satisfies the long felt need for a video on Alvac, HIV and Vaxgen. Alvac and AIDSVac are two different vaccine candidates that have been developed for the prevention of HIV and AIDS. But before we proceed, I have a special announcement. I'll get back to you after this video. Hey all, this is Raj here. Welcome to ShareTrek. I'm really glad that you are a viewer or a subscriber of this channel. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, the least you can do is subscribe. It's absolutely free. The reason I want to talk to you about today is that uh, our channel was primarily for genomic investment and we uh, have somehow ended up uh, doing a lot of uh, videos on HIV based on popular demand. I am personally not equipped to keep up this pace of activity and bring out this many videos because it needs a lot of study. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist. And um, I can see from the comment section that there's a thirst for more and more information. So I'm very happy to fill the gap, but I need help. And the best thing you could do is either use the super thanks feature if you want to support this channel or better still join the Patreon. The basic subscription level is just to support the channel and you get advanced access information or early access to our programs uh, which are uh, for HIV. And there are multiple levels of uh, engagement you can have in Patreon with increasing benefits. Your support is much appreciated. Right now we have three Patreons and I was looking for more by this point of time, but we are stuck at three. And I really am thankful to those three Patreons who already helped me get started. But more of you need to join up so that you can support me in continuing this focus on HIV. Thanks. Have a great day. And I hope I can count on you. Well, that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. The Alvac vaccine was developed by the French pharmaceutical company Sanofi Pasteur. It's a genetically engineered vaccine that uses a canary pox virus to deliver genes from the HIV virus into the body. The canary pox virus is unable to cause disease in humans but it is able to stimulate an immune response. The vaccine contains three genes from HIV that encode for proteins found on the surface of the virus. These proteins are intended to stimulate the uh, an immune response against the virus if a person is later on exposed to HIV. The Alvac vaccine is designed to prime the immune system and boost immunity against HIV. Now, about the next vaccine, which is the AIDS vax. The AIDS vaccine, AIDS vax vaccine was developed by a biotech company called Vaxgen. It's a subunit vaccine that contains a small piece of the GP120 protein found on the surface of the HIV virus. The GP120 protein is the part of the virus that binds to the CD4 receptor on human immune cells, allowing the virus to infect the cells. The AIDS vax vaccine is intended to simulate an immune response against the GP120 protein, which could prevent the virus from binding to human cells and infecting them. Friends, if you recollect from our previous videos, there is something called as a trimer on the HIV virus. The trimer is a three-pronged structure found on the HIV virus and the prongs have got specific functions. One of them is to latch on to uh, the CD4 T cell, which is the GP120. So if there's an antibody that can latch on to GP120, then it can prevent GP120 from latching on to the CD4 T cell. Or if there was an antibody that can la latch on to the CD4 T cell receptor for GP120, then again, that can prevent the GP120 of the HIV virus from binding onto the CD4 T cell. So that is the strategy that you should remember is happening out here. Both Alvac and AIDSVAC vaccine have been tested in clinical trials, both separately and in combination in a phase three clinical trial conducted in Thailand. The combination of Alvac and AIDSVAC vaccine was shown to be partially effective in preventing HIV infection. The study involved over 16,000 participants and found that the vaccine regimen was about 31% effective in reducing the risk of HIV infection compared to placebo. Since the initial clinical trial, there have been ongoing efforts to improve the Alvac and AIDSVAC vaccine and to test them in other populations. 
A phase 2B trial uh, of the ALVAC and AIDS vac vaccine is currently ongoing in South Africa, involving over 5,000 participants. The trial is evaluating the safety and efficacy of the vaccine regimen in preventing HIV infection among sexually active women. Overall, the ALVAC and AIDS vac vaccines represent an important step forward in the development of an effective HIV vaccine. While the current efficacy is limited, ongoing research is exploring ways to improve the, uh, the vaccines and increase their effectiveness. I found a, uh, an article in the New England Journal of uh, Medicine dated December 2009. I also need to disclose that the article has a disclaimer that says that the opinions expressed in these articles are those of the authors and do not represent the official views of the Department of Health and Human Services, the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, or the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, the Department of Defense, or Department of the Army. So there is a whole lot of disclaimer uh, on this article in the New England Journal of Medicine. So I thought it, would, it was wise to pro reproduce them out here. So what the article says that supported in part by an intra-agency agreement between the U.S. Army Medical Research and Material, Com uh, Command, uh, Medi uh, Material Command and National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease, and by a cooperative uh, agreement between the Henry M. Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine and the U.S. Department of Defense, Sanofi Pasteur provided the ALVAC HIV vaccine and global solutions for infectious diseases, uh, that is Vaxgen, uh, provided the reagents for the immu immunogenicity uh, assays, and they conducted a test. The study uh, that was conducted produced results that HIV infection was diagnosed in 132 subjects, that is 56 in the vaccine group and 76 in the placebo group. Please note that the placebo group had 20 more uh, infections than the vaccine group. During 52,985 person years of follow-up in the intent to treat analysis, in 86 subjects, 36 in the vaccine group and 50 in the placebo group during the 36,720 person years of follow-up in the pre-protocol analysis. And in 125 subjects, that is 51 in the vaccine group and 74 in the placebo group during the 52,985 person years of follow-up in the modified intention to treat analysis. One subject in the placebo group who was identified by hospital record as being seropositive for HIV uh, after dying from a pneumatic uh, pneumonia was uh, in, uh, included in the analysis before the unblinding of the study. The diagnosis of HIV-1 infection was the only one that occurred outside the planned procedures. So if I was to summarize all this jargon, so I used chat GPT to digest this uh, study results and give me a conclusion because as a lay person, I got lost halfway through the uh, reading of the test results. So what ChatGPT says is that the finding that HIV-1 infection was diagnosed in a significant number of subjects during the follow-up period is not a good result, as, indicates, uh, as it indicates that the vaccine was not completely effective in preventing HIV-1 infection. However, the fact that there were fewer cases of HIV-1 infection in the vaccine group than in the placebo group suggests that the vaccine may have some eff protective effect. Overall, the results of the F study are mixed and require further analysis and evaluation. Currently, the South African initiative known as HT HVT and 702 clinical trial is in a phase 2B or of 3 uh, clinical trial of the ALVAC and AIDSVAC vaccines being conducted in South Africa. The trial began in 2016 and involves over 5,000 uh, participants. The aim of the trial is to evaluate the safety and efficacy of the vaccine regimen in preventing HIV infection among sexu sexually active adults in South Africa. The HVT and 702 trial builds on the result of a previous trial in Thailand which showed partial efficacy of the ALVAC and AIDSVAC vaccines in preventing HIV infection. There are also ongoing efforts to improve the ALVAC and AIDSVAC vaccines and to test them in other populations. For instance, a new version of the ALVAC vaccine called ALVAC HIV has been developed with additional HIV genes that may enhance the immune response and clinical trials are underway to evaluate the safety and efficacy of this vaccine in different populations. So friends, this is not the last time I'm going to cover this because now I have found a uh, FDA record and I um, will be able to check this on an ongoing basis and bring more updates to you. So if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe so that you, you do not miss any of these. Press the notify button so you don't miss any of our videos and you can choose to watch the videos whenever you like.
And I hope you guys found that we have sufficient information here for you to chew on. And uh, I would um, uh, also put some links in the description out here so that you can do further research on your own. If you have any queries, please mention that in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. So friends, once again, please consider doing a super thanks or joining the Patreon to help keeping this initiative going. And um, I thank you for watching. Thank you for being a subscriber. And uh, I'll catch up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.